Rock's Facebook pages at 96rockonline.com. The photos and the videos are there. Foster and Bob the Blade, live at the Grammys on 96 Rock. All righty, we're uh, live in Los Angeles now, so who's our next victim? <laughs> mm, hi, guys. Hey, it's Hello. the one and only Rachel Ucatel. How are Joined you? Us live. We're doing real good. How are you? I'm great, thanks. So you're taller than we expected. Now, why is this? Well, that's just because I have some fancy shoes on to do a little magic. How much do the fancy shoes add? Probably five inches. <laughs> <laughs> She's four taller or five. About four or five. Yeah. So. But, you know, the thing is, is from wearing heels for so long, I have, like, a problem with wearing flats. So if I'm in flip-flops, I'll actually trip over myself. And it's not pretty. So well, I tend to wear heels more often than not. <laughs> but it wouldn't be pretty, but it'd be really funny. Yes. You, you know how the models, when they trip on the runways. Yeah, that's just n- priceless. N- <laughs> Love is. seeing that. Love seeing that. Hey, well, you know, a man over here has got his uh, Kim Kardashian shoes. How about those? Have you heard of those? No. Okay, well, tell her about those, friend. There are these, the Skechers Shape Ups. Oh, right? of Which course. Which is supposed to give you a Kim Kardashian butt is the okay. whole Okay, they have them right? for men now, too? They, or are yes. you wearing women's shoes? He's is the real wearing question. women's shoes. Very good. That's oh. what it is. All righty. Mm. Kind of attractive. <laughs> They're dude shoes. Who are you going out with on Valentine's Day? <laughs> John Waite? <laughs> no, we talked to him. Rachel, you stop that. Now, listen, let's find out what you're doing, because I like a couple of things you do, because we know Dr. Drew, and he's cool. Yes, And you're on Celebrity cool. Rehab, right? Yes. And so are you, uh, did he, was he a big help to you? Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't have done the show without meeting him ahead of time and, and really understanding his credibility. I mean, he he's great. He's fabulous. He's changed my life. He really has. So does he keep you away from every substance, everything? Yeah. Everything, right? Yeah. Not even alcohol and not even... I was never a, an alcoholic to begin right, with. That right. wasn't my issue. So um, he, he really is phenomenal, but he makes you realize that when you cloud your judgment with anything, from alcohol to anything that you become addicted to, you you change your reality. And, and you have, the bottom line is, why are you trying to get out of your head? Why are you trying to get out of your reality? You need to focus on what the issues are that are making you want to alter that state. You know, So that that's what I try and focus on and remember. Dude, do you think the, the pills deal, now that gets you before you even know it gets you, yeah. right? You don't go into it thinking it's going to get you. No, because it's prescribed by a doctor, right. so you don't think there's anything wrong with it. And then you start self-medicating a little bit or taking it more often than not when you decide that you're anxious or you decide that you need to sleep. And, you know, it's not, uh, it's actually, it's very dangerous, very dangerous. And I stopped taking them. I stopped taking all pills altogether. You know, I was on like antidepressants even, and I just realized, why do I want to do that when I need to figure out what I'm depressed about, you know? Well, see, did you hear what she's saying? My man's taking sleeping pills, and he's sleeping all day, and, you know, so... Uh, uh, in moderation. Okay. Yeah, right. but see, nothing like that is good in moderation, because they affect your, your memory. They, you know, you need to figure out why you can't fall asleep, period. Would Dr. Drew accept me on the show? Probably. <laughs> Does he take people that can't sleep? Is that that? That's not a deal. No, not addicted. No. No. Well, you're addi- if you become addicted to sleeping pills, but there's usually right. a, a bigger force behind it. You know. All right. All right. So you're a famous person now. So what's next for you? And well, first of all, are you rich? Am I rich? Are you rich? Uh, I made some money for doing the show. You did. Yeah, I've actually. Do you make a lot of money doing that show? Um, I don't know what a lot of money is, but no, you make you make money doing the show. But to be honest with you, after you pay managers and fees and taxes. It's not that much money. But to right. be honest, if you want to know what I did with it, I paid off part of my mortgage. You know, I, d- I didn't right. do anything exciting with it. Okay. It's not like I bought anything, you know, worth talking about. <laughs> right. Okay. So. Okay. Well, so what's next for Rachel? Uh, what you I'm got? getting my license in private investigation, and I've been offered uh, some different opportunities for a reality show based on that. So, so you might see me on TV again. Well, well, things are going good, dude, huh? Yeah. Going real good for you. Yeah. How about that? That's awesome. Yeah, they know they're great. They're great. Hollywood, nothing like Hollywood, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I don't consider myself part of Hollywood because, again, I was on a reality show that was based on reality. It really was. And I'm moving forward in my life and doing real stuff. And if cameras want to follow me, then great. You know, so. All right. Well, nice talking with you. You too. Thank yeah, you for well, having me. I saw you coming across the room. <laughs> we did. Thank That's you. That's awesome. All right, Rachel, <laughs> Rachel Lucatel, Lucatel joins us here. Here on uh, 96 Rock as we broadcast. Uh,